Hello. YouTube. Headphone nerds? I don't know. People. Hmm? You want to say hello? <laughs> Coffee. Ooh, you did well, baby. Thank you. You know you can talk, right? You can you can say hello to the people. They they actually for some reason like you. I I don't know why. Um. So, uh, here's the situation. Here's the situation. Um, I have been tasked to kind of run and design the Joyo booth for Musikmesse, and I said, "Screw the dealers! I don't care about the dealers. I want you to come to the booth and check out some stuff and the new amps and all this." So for that. Uh, I teamed up with two notes, uh, well, very cool. I'm still waiting for the products to come in, but we're going to try to ke keep the booth completely quiet. No speakers, no caps, everything running through very high end two notes speaker simulation. And for that, we need headphones. Now, a lot of headphones that I've tried sounded rather crappy when it comes to guitar signals, too much by the high end and, you know, muffled. So. Um, I called up the people at Toman because they know their shit. Um, they actually have, as far as I understand, teamed up with Kopfhörer.de, which is a German-speaking Kopf Kopfhörer site. Kopfhörer means headphone. I complete. Why didn't you tell me that I have to tell this to the people? I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, Kopfhörer.de, headphone.de, is a German headphone test site. And I read some things there, but you really need to put those things on your ears. So Max at uh, Thoman was very nice and sent me four headphones that are in the price range at around 40 bucks so that I have in my, you know, I have a limited budget so that I can buy 10 of them for the booth so that you can check out stuff at the Joyo booth. That was a very complicated way of saying what I wanted to say, right? You weren't listening not listening so um what we want to do is we're going to unbox these look at which ones he sent because i really have no idea and find out which are the best ones for testing guitar signals not a full mix not a hip-hoppy beatboxy kind of thing that was my beatboxing skills awesome huh cool huh I don't know what I'm doing. So we're going to test guitar signals. For that, we have a Harley Benton DC from here. I don't know which model it is. I don't know. 580? The white one. We're going to go into, a, right there, if you can see that, Hughes and Kettner, Hughes. That's how you say that. Hughes and Kettner Deluxe 20. And I have a foot switch on the floor here so we can switch drive and stuff. Drive is what really matters because of the high endy stuff. So... My trusty unboxing partner, could you please unbox this for us? Careful because Toman included the spikes of death on this box. It's something they throw in for free, spikes of death. So that you can vanquish your foes. Every time you order something in Toman, you get the free spikes of death. So there they are, the spikes of death. Pull. Careful. Spike of death? Mm. So, Max sent the Superlux uh, the HD662B. Mm. And then looks more expensive. H six six H D six six nine and the H D four four zero. None of these are very really creatively named, huh? And then the Sennheiser H D two O one. So we have the HD662B. We have the Sennheiser. HD440, not in focus. And the HD669. Honey. Oh! Explosion. 
soon. Thank you. Um, so, please take them out of the box. And in front of me, which you cannot see on any camera, I have a PreSonus monitor station with four headphone outs. So it would be very convenient for us to simply uh, plug them all in there. What you have to do, because there is no freaking way it makes sense. Oh, this is nice. Um, it makes no freaking sense to mic a headphone and then you listen to that headphone with your headphone makes no sense so there's no way to actually convey what they sound like to you we simply test them right in front of you and every time i play the guitar what you're going to hear is the pure guitar signal out of the mic from the basement uh coming up here so you can check it out with your own headphones but after we've tested them you simply have to trust us which ones we like more because there is no way to do this to like give you a test of what a headphone sounds like which you would listen to with your headphones. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. How would we tell people what they sound like? Would we mic them? Makes no sense. So what are you doing the video for? I don't know. I tell people what they sound like. And they have to trust me. Actually, you have to listen too. So, um... The HD 440, let me make some space here. You can already unbox this. So we have the HD 440 here. I want over-ear headphones. I don't want on-ear. Over-ear is much uh, nicer. This has a little strap on it. That's nice, rubber. So let me show you. Um, this is what they look like. Um, of course, in this price range, detachable uh, cables probably not going to happen. Probably good for the show anyway, because if the cable is detachable, people might run away with them. So I can actually zip tie this uh, nice, big, and they'll probably run away with this. I'm going to have to tape this down somehow. Look rather nice. Feels super light, so it kind of feels like you're not wearing anything. Not sure if this is the feeling you want. But then again, our budget is 40 bucks. I mean, what can you expect for 40 bucks? So that would be our number one. Should we look up how much these are? Let's see. HD 440, HD 440. Uh, 20 bucks. <laughs> Holy crap. That's 20 bucks. That's that's pretty impressive. 20 bucks. That would be my budget. I'm totally okay if these work. Let's hope these work. What is this? <laughs> that's kind of a... Okay. Futuristic. What is this? Because So what I just said, det detachable cables might be a bad idea... Considering that people might run away with it. Uh, there's this thing. Too. Yes, we need this thing. And there's a little case. Um, this this is the HD669. Let's check this out. 669. 29 bucks. How do they do that? So there's a short cable. And then there's a longer cable. We're going to use the longer cable. So there's a uh, stereo connector at the bottom, and you can use this short uh, this extension. There's a short extension and a long extension, which is, in terms of what's in the box, that is impressive. So we're going to plug in the short extension, and then the big plug. Um, it has these little antennae. Anten How do you say that? An an ante in English. Anten, antennae. Antennas. Antennas? No, I don't know. Antennae. That's how you spell that. I don't know. But um, kind of weird. Still very light. Try these on. Let me know what you think. 
Is there a left and a right? I uh, let's say no. We're gonna go mono anyway. Weird shape. What? <laughs> well, that's what we want. We want, you know, separation from the outside. Uh, so put this in, in the box over there. This goes to the first one? Uh, the, the second one. Oh, they, they do feel a lot better. And they're much more isolated. They look a bit goofy. Yes, they do look totally ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, put them on. They they do feel a lot better. And they feel kind of high-end for 29 freaking bucks. Are you insane? They do look better. How's the isolation? What? <laughs> but is it is it a louder what or a quieter what? I, I don't didn't hear a difference. Okay, good. Wait, let me see. Talk to me. Hello? Uh, these isolate a lot better. Come on. Wouldn't you be happy to have something you can put on your ears so you don't have to, you know, listen to me constantly? Wouldn't that be awesome? Something that can drown me out? Would you rather have... For that they don't work well enough. We are so... Listen, <laughs> check this out. Can you hear me more or can you hear me less now? Hello? Hello? Leslie? 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 Maybe a tiny bit less. But not not enough. No. Okay. <laughs> Nothing is enough. Good. Uh, let's listen. Let's. Where would we have the? Now, if I unbox, if I take this out of the thing, I can never put that back in the box. So Tomon will be happy. Should we even open these? <sighs> Worst case scenario is I buy them. Come on. Six six two B. Six six two B. Also. Twenty nine ninety. So same as the six six nine, but with a slightly less ridiculous. I mean, they they do feel nice when they sit on your head, don't they? Yeah, you kind of have to break the packaging. So I'm I'm thinking they're probably. I, I think I just bought them. And it looks like the cable is connected firmly. And having the little bag is nice because I'm going to have to move 29, uh, 29. I'm going to have to move 10 headphones to the booth and make sure that they arrive nicely. So this is cool. So for my purposes, having the cable connected would probably be better. For your purposes, for the same price, having a longer and a shorter cable that you can disconnect is probably not too bad. If you're okay with a little... Antennae. They feel more plasticky than these. Mm -hmm. Right? Same price. They do isolate, I would say, just as much. I'm thinking that probably the the ear muscle. The ear muscle. Huh? <laughs> the ear shell? What do you call that in English? I don't know. Earpiece. The earpiece is probably. Nah, but look here. If you can see this right here, this is already kind of open and the seam ripped right there. So we just unboxed them, okay? So here on these, the seam is fine, but here the seam is ripped and the foam comes out. Again, hey, 29 bucks. That's freaking ridiculous. But ah, oh, you want me to talk? That's the first ever. <laughs> Same thing, like right? The second one. Hmm? Yeah. Like the second one. So let's look at the Sennheiser, which is um, of course brand name. It's a it's a higher brand name than Superlux, which are apparently relatively new on the market. Um, but I have to say, for twenty nine bucks, in terms of Packaging, presentation, uh, nice. Okay, and then, then, the, then there's the Sennheiser. No bag, no nothing. Bright names can... Bright names can do that, apparently. 
Yeah, okay, I just, I'm sorry, man, that feels very... The cable feels a lot more flimsy. Of course, in the end, it's all about the sound. So we can't screw this on. I'm gonna have to, sorry, Toma, I'm gonna have to take this out. Plug it in. So we're gonna look at the price for the Sennheiser. Which one is that model? HD 201. Hello. Hello, Internet. Yeah. Oh, 20 bucks. Okay, well, again, I like Max. I told him I've got 40 bucks and he didn't send me a single one for 40 bucks. He stayed under 30. How cool is that? Uh huh. Hmm. So this is what they look like. They are over ear, but they are barely over ear. Then they have... The cable isn't going through here, however that works in the other ones. The cable is, you know, stereo, so on each side, which is easier to get entangled. Entangled? Tangled up? Entangled. <laughs> Okay, well let's let's listen. They don't fit as tight yep. over your ears as the others. Um, well, Start with you, you try these. I'll try these. Uh, you have number four. I have number one. So what we'll do is we'll. Uh, I, I this this is, I can hear a lot through these. So I'm going to turn the speaker off. If it's too loud, you can change that there, right? I have a feeling that mine are distorting. How loud is it in yours? How loud? How would you like me to describe how loud it is? Is it five loud or uh, rather like six loud? compare that with uh, my speakers. Because it sounds pretty clean to me here, and in the headphones it sounds a little bit fizzly and distorted. Yeah, those to me have way too much high end, so I'm gonna say no. Let's flip around and you tell me which one of these two you like better. same volume because these were louder or is it just turned up more? they are set at the same volume so that means that these, these are louder. louder but what do you think what what's more pleasing to listen to I don't know. yeah you're a big help uh, so we continue uh, you take the super lux blah, 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 and I take the 669 you have the these what are number three huh uh, yes Oh, this is nice. They are much more isolating than the other ones. Can barely hear myself. There's also 
sounds distorted. <laughs> fizzly in the high end there. Whoa, that's different. Can you hear that the mids are completely different? Totally different mid spectrum, right? Sounds different, but I don't know how to describe how. The bass response on this is fuller but it feels mid scooped as if there's not as much nice round midness in there so it's weird because they look very similar they are the same price but very clearly a different different sound i want to hear the sennheiser one more time because i like the idea that it's 20 bucks it really doesn't isolate as well and feels very uh, <laughs> It's a pleasing sound, though. Listen to those again. The quality feels not so nice. They feel light and flimsy, and I don't like the fact that it's attached on both sides. But sound-wise, hmm. The mids come out quite a bit, the, around like 1k or something, which could be nice, but depending on what sound we're playing, uh, I hate to say it, but it kind of feels as if the Sennheisers are the most balanced. What do you think? If you had to pick one. Then I would pick which one feels better on my head. Okay, which one feels best on your head? This one. Three? Is it three? Really? Not the little with the antennas. Mm -mm. That sounds would be great for metal. But again, it's uh, right here at the bottom. There's You can see that there's like a rubber thing, which doesn't really... It's just... In terms of the quality, I feel that these are really lacking. I mean, the, the seam is ripped. I love how isolated these are on your head. I really like that. And the mid-spectrum is, it's still acceptable. It's definitely emphasizing 1K a little bit, or in, in that in that area, what do I know? But in the, in the higher mids, these feel flimsy, right? Hmm. They feel a little bit cheap. But it's a very pleasing sound. One more time. The question is, do these last longer at the booth? With all you guys coming and playing with them? Or you know, is this something that was, that's going to break? That's the question. You know, these little flimsy ears here. It's just a little bit more pronounced in that... This could be misconstrued as a negative sound compared to these. If I compare them, and depending on if my pedal is kind of bitey or my amp is kind of bitey, people could say, oh, it's too bitey, whereas this is the most balanced. And the question is, you know, is this something that will break at the booth if people play them, put them down? I hate to say it, but it might be the Sennheiser. But I also like to say it because it's 20 bucks, so it means I'm going to spend 200 bucks on 10 of them. Unless Sennheiser 
can, can you wave at the nice people from Sennheiser? Wants to help us out and put ten of these puppies at our booth. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if Sennheiser put some headphones at our booth? You know, that's that song about the surfing. Isn't it? I don't know. You want to run away now, don't you? Can you help me box these up? So, I want to thank uh, Max from Toman and all these nice people that make headphones. And um, I'm thinking, first impression might be, yeah, I'm thinking Sennheiser, even though the others kind of feel very nice. It, they feel tighter, but sound-wise, the most balanced for a guitar signal. So, go away now, we're going to box these up. <sighs> and uh, I'll see you in Frankfurt, Musikmesse 2016, I hope. If not... See you on the flippity flop. Sounds like a boat. Let's ride the flippity flop. No? Have you noticed that you're very quiet? I love this woman, just to let you know. Just, just to let you know. It's, it's like as if she's, you know, throwing the hate my way, but it isn't. It is not the hate. It's just, that's us. That's our dynamic. I talk a lot. For every word I talk, she subtracts one. Bye-bye.